Welcome to Delta Children's Products instructional video. You have chosen the portable crib. Please take the time and care in opening up your box. Inspect everything that you have inside. Make sure that there are no broken parts or missing pieces. If you need any replacement parts, please call our customer service department at 1-800-377-3777. Look over your instructions carefully and be prepared to have the right tool for the current step you are on. Take note of any common household tools that are recommended but not included in your package. Have them conveniently located. It is recommended to spread them out on a rug or sheet to ensure protection of your crib and your floor. Step 1. Assembling the backside rail with the left headboard. Note that the warning label on the side rail must always be facing out to ensure proper visibility. This is your T-nut. Prep the T-nut on your Phillips screwdriver, as shown, so that you can easily slip it into the appropriate opening. Be sure that the opening on the T-nut is facing in the same direction as the screw you are threading through. Twist the screwdriver to help guide your screw into the T-nut's threaded opening. Once you feel the screw threading the T-nut properly, you may continue to tighten the screw in by hand. Once you can no longer tighten by hand, use the screwdriver. Finish step one by assembling the right headboard to your back side rail. Step two, bring in the mattress board. Slowly have the assistant lower the board as you guide the wire support into its proper opening, as you see it here. Take your time to get it just right. There is no need to rush any part of your assembly. Once the wire support has been inserted, you may lower the board between the headboards. Have your assistant hold the side rail and the headboard to keep the mattress support secure. Step 3. Assemble your nut onto your supplied T-bar wrench as shown. Tighten the nut over the wire opening to firmly secure the nut into place. Repeat this step on the other side before you move on to the next step. Step 4. Have your assistant bring in the front side rail. Note that the warning label on the side rail must always be facing out to ensure proper visibility. Hold your end of the headboard to give the mattress board some support. Have your assistant keep the front side rail steady and have them simply place a foot in front of the leg of the headboard to secure the mattress board in place. Repeat the step one assembly of the T-nut and screw before moving on to the next step. Lift the crib onto its side to install the casters at the base of its legs. Push in the caster as seen here until it securely clicks into place. Repeat this for all four casters. Gently lift the crib back in place onto its casters. Give it a good final shake to ensure everything is firm and secure. Check that no pieces of hardware are on the floor, including loose nuts or bolts. If there are any loose bolts, tighten them. Congratulations on completing the assembly of your portable crib.